ESPN over the last 10 years has made more staff on air and behind the scenes releases, firings, moving around, reassigning than ever. Now, a lot of this is Disney's doing. These billion dollar corporations are allegedly bringing in just that billions, yet they need to keep doing cuts. That's because they're wasting money to fund new agendas. So all the small fries, who they view as small fries, they'll eliminate. ESPN is all about cheap labor. ESPN has been on a downslide and a downfall for years for many reasons. One of the reasons are they got rid of fan favorites. They got rid of people who had been institutions. Or they allowed these people to walk away with no fight. When you watch ESPN, when I grew up on ESPN, it was Stuart Scott. Hit the like button. It was Stuart Scott. Subscribe to the channel. Chris Berman, Tom Jackson, Rich Eisen, so on and so forth. But even eight years ago, ten years ago, whatever the case, they did have bigger names than they do now. When you look at their NFL coverage, at a point they did have Chris Carter. Whether they whether these people were good or not, that's not the point. But they were names. Chris Carter, Randy Moss, Ray Lewis, even a Trent Dilfer, you know, Sean Salisbury. You, you had different people. Now you look at ESPN. You watch, you watch and you don't know who these broadcasters are. The athletes they have on there, you, most of them are scrubs or you never even remember them playing. Dan Orlowski is supposed to be an expert. They get rid of Steve Young, but keep Dan Orlowski. Steve Young, a legend, an icon. A Super Bowl champion, Hall of Famer, Dan Orlowski. What college did he go to? Who did he play for in the NFL? What are his highlights? What What did he add to the game of football? His career highlight is he was on the worst team in NFL history that went that went zero and sixteen. And his highlight is he hiked the ball and ran out of the end zone for safety. And he's an expert. Marcus Spears, an overhyped defensive lineman from LSU, picked early in the NFL draft by the Cowboys, I believe, and he was mediocre. Nobody wants to live in Connecticut. Nobody wants to live in New York, not these days. ESPN's looking for cheap labor. It's nothing for them to cut somebody. It's nothing for them to cut somebody if Stephen A. <laughs> if Stephen A. happens to suggest it up front in a sideways fashion, slightly, whatever the case. Marcus Spears, Orlowski, these people are cheap labor. It's no secret that Stephen A. has been getting people fired from first take, removed. He, he's, he's playing political, corporate games. All these things because it did something to him when ESPN got rid of him in 2009. It did something to him mentally. It, it, just, it scarred his ego. He was making nowhere near the money he is now. So now that he found his way back to ESPN and now basically they gave him the network and they're paying him around 10 million before taxes. He's more political than ever. He's backstabbing more than ever. Even though that's wrong, if you're going to be in a corporate system, you have to understand how the corporation works. So Max Kellerman moved off the show and now he's gone from ESPN. This person gone, this person, whatever the case. Marcus Spears is not the most intelligent human being. 
On first take, this morning, the end of the show is a clip of Kendrick Perkins, another cheap labor worker, another mediocre player. The Celtics in 08 did not need him to win that title. Big Baby Davis was better. Worn down P.J. Brown was better. Don't make me say Scalabrini was better. Leon Poe. Whatever the case, they could have got some. They could have got anybody. To play. They could have got Kwame Brown to be the center that year. They still would have won the championship. But Kendrick Perkins, and didn't he swing on a female allegedly years ago at a restaurant? Whatever. But he's still employed. They pick and choose when when these agendas are enforced. But Kendrick Perkins, who's coaching a youth basketball league, oh great, what's that team's record? Him and his youth team, they go to Las Vegas, Nevada for a tournament, a youth basketball tournament. This is a kid's game. Kids. Like like eight years old, ten years old, maybe twelve, maybe seven. Kids. It's not AU. It's not high school. It's not college. It's damn sure not the NBA. Kendrick Perkins claims during this game. One of the referees threw out one of his kids. So a kid got ejected from a youth basketball tournament. What did this nine-year-old do? <laughs> what, what did he do? So then Kendrick Perkins approaches the referee demanding answers. Kendrick Perkins, this this to quote Kwame Brown, the great Kwame Brown, this baby mama body built... <laughs> Man, people people in the south of them country country uh country roasting country sayings. But uh Kendrick Perkins approaches the referee and he's very aggressive. You can see the film of it. And the referee throws him out the game. This is ridiculous, but whatever. So at the end of first take, they show this clip and then it's supposed to be like some sarcastic roast or sarcastic clowning of Kendrick Perkins and Stephen A looking as feminine as he does now look at it look, look at Stephen A look look how his wrist is look look how his, his head is dipped his mouth puckered pause there's no telling what he really did behind the scenes to get this 10 million dollars how did Stephen A really get this position everybody hated him Stephen A Smith is someone at ESPN they did not like him the same way in the 90s, people at ESPN, they didn't like Stuart Scott. They thought he was too black. There were racist, racist undertones and overtones at ESPN. People saying uh, behind the scenes at ESPN, this ain't BET. Why is Stuart Scott talking like this? They made fun of his eye. Oh, whatever. This exists. People at ESPN did not like Stephen A. Smith, when they got rid of him in 08, 09, whatever year that was, people were not uh, crying over his departure. They were like, they were relieved. They did not like him. They saw him as being abrasive, obnoxious, loud, great. Michael Wilbon did not care for him back then, but now Michael Wilbon pretends that he likes Stephen A. now. If you know, you know. Fake and fraudulent. So now everyone at ESPN is bowing down to Stephen A. They didn't like him before. They didn't like him back in 2003, 2006, 2009. They didn't like him when they brought him back in 2011, 2012. People were like, why is he back? If you know, you know. Now, he was back because at the time, the power player, one of the power players, rather, was Skip Bayless. That was a Skip Bayless call, which Stephen A. always talks about, and that's true. There's people who didn't like Skip Bayless. They was happy when he left. But now Stephen A., this, this corporate nonsense, now they all bow down to him and pretend to like him, playing that political game. Marcus Spears and Stephen A., they started commenting, commenting on Kendrick Perkins. Hit the like button and this video. Now Stephen A., he's, he's like sarcastically saying, Kendrick, Park, Kendrick Perkins, I'm disappointed in you. It don't matter how much money you spent to get your team to Las Vegas. How could you get kicked out of a youth tournament? Whatever, whatever. And then Marcus Spears trying to play along, because that's what these people do in this corporate world, play along, ribbing on the square. Stephen A's jokingly criticizing Perkins. But then Marcus Spears says, oh, Stephen A, uh, you know, um, 
I blame you for this. And then Stephen A. says, how? Well, you're the one who's been getting people removed. You're the one who's been getting people kicked out of things. Marcus Spears is jokingly, but not jokingly. See, he says it as a joke, but he really means it. He's taking a shot at Stephen A. live on the air. And Stephen A., I don't even think he caught it. Or maybe he's a great actor. Maybe Stephen A. went off on him when the show's off the air. But Marcus Spears takes a jab at Stephen A. saying, you've been getting people kicked out of ESPN, so why are you mad Perkins gets kicked out of a basketball game? He said this on the air. <laughs> Nobody caught this. Fake smile, fake laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. It's that sarcastic, you're saying something, but you say it com comedically, like you're not really serious. But he takes a jab at him. But Marcus Spears, you might be out of here, son. You're not important. Don't nobody tune in to hear you swagoo. Stupid nickname. Let's get to this right here. He just said, you bear responsibility for Perkins getting kicked out because you've been getting people kicked out, but you won't kick yourself off the show. He just said this on the air. But I don't think Stephen A. caught it because Stephen A. starts cutting him off talking. He did this and he did that backhanded. I'm really saying something, but I'm going to say it comedically. So you don't really think I'm saying something. Let's let's bring that back. Let's bring that back, damn it. Squad that don't know how to control themselves and their tempers. So who who would have thunk it? JJ Reddick and Kendrick Perkins are alike after all. Marcus. Well, first of all, you bear some responsibility, Stephen A. Well, how? Because you you do it every damn day. You bear Me? some responsibility. Oh, remember? They in, they in a culture of getting kicked out. Remember, remember. Just, I got you just ain't gonna kick celebrity. yourself off your own. I got ejected. I got ejected. This is a stupid move by Marcus Spears. <laughs> Even though he's telling the truth. <laughs> They're in a culture of getting kicked out. You just won't kick yourself off this show. I hope Marcus Spears gets fired. I hope the fake Kardashian in the middle gets fired too. Stephen A., He's been bussified. And with that said, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And that is it. ESPN been dead.